Hey Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to take a look at your connection with you and your person. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with everybody. The energies can be reversed, and if you'd like a personal reading, I'll leave the information down below. So, what is Cancer's overall energy towards their person? We have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So what is this person's overall energy towards Cancer here? This connection. What is this person's overall energy towards Cancer? Is this, oh, we got release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. I feel like um, this person that you're dealing with is having a hard time letting somebody go or maybe they are doing it already but still um, healing from it. Or you may have some trust issues when it comes to this person because you could have been put in a third party situation here. So how does Cancer view this connection with their person? How does Cancer view this connection with their person? We have Queen of Swords, the Tower, and the Hierophant. Okay, so this could also be somebody who is your ex here. I feel like... Um, there was a moment between you guys where there was a lot of conflict and um, things basically came crashing down here. I feel like you found out something and you basically found some type of clarity and truth. And I feel like when it comes to this person, like already, like you just don't trust them. And it could also do with your past here. But for some of you, you may still want this commitment with this person because we have the Hierophant here. Or maybe you guys were together for a very long time already, okay? Tell me about the King of Swords. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The Lovers, reverse, Ten of Pentacles, reversed. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles, upright. So I feel like... The timing, like, over time, this connection was just starting to fall apart here. Um, something that was long. So, this is, I feel like this is somebody who you've known for a very long time now. And you've already invested a lot into this connection and things just didn't end up working out between you guys. Maybe you even cut this person off. Tell me about the tower. Seven of Cups, the Devil, and the Ace of Cups. So, I feel like with this person, like, you definitely do love them. We have the Ace of Cups here, and you have a lot of unconditional love when it comes to this person. And, um, you, f you still feel very, like, attached when it comes to them. You feel like the things between you guys can be toxic and confusing at times with the seven of cups here and you might not really be able to find some clarity at this moment especially when it comes to your feelings so now you don't really really know how to feel when it, about them because things just ended up being really toxic between you guys so how does this person view this connection with, with Cancer? How does this person view this connection with Cancer? The Hermit, we have Ten of Cups, and then we have the Knight of Cups, okay. So, yeah, your person is like distancing themselves from you. They feel like they need a break from you. Um, or they kind of feel like you were the ones that initiated this this break for whatever reason your person is distancing themselves right now here, okay? Um, but 
this person wants commitment with you we have the ten of cups here and I feel like this is something that you're not expecting, okay? Because um, this person is going to be coming back. We do have the Knight of Cups. So they are coming forward here. And they want to offer you love. They want to express to you how they feel. I feel like um, for some of you, they may even come in with an apology here. And on your side, we also have the Hierophant. So I feel like... Um, there is a potential that you guys are going to get back together here. I'm just saying. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. The Three of Pentacles. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. So again, your person, um, they see themselves coming forward here to work things out with you with an apology and they want to offer you a real commitment here and they want to nurture this connection and they want to give you something that is worth it and something that is stable here i feel like after some time where they needed to think about things they decided that it's time to come forward and they have made a decision now they feel like they have been getting the signs and they feel guided to come towards you so how does Cancer feel about this connection with this person? How does Cancer feel about this connection with this person? Oh man. Ace of Cups, the Devil, so... And we also have the Eight of Swords. I feel like um, you're starting to get out of your head when it comes to this person and um, you do have a lot of love for them you have a lot of lust also um, but you also have a lot of fears when it comes to this person here because you fear that you can't trust them okay tell me about the devil we do have temperance okay so I feel like uh, for some of you, you're scared that things are just not going to be able to work out between you guys. You're scared that things won't be balanced. You're scared that... You're scared that things... That you're going to be waiting and waiting and nothing's going to happen here. Okay? But you're scared that things aren't going to change overall. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. The high priestess and you're not listening to your intuition here when it comes to this person okay I feel like eventually you're gonna break free from these ties here I feel like you have a really strong tie when it comes to somebody in particular um, and I feel like you're gonna break free from it and start to let your intuition guide you at this point how does this person feel about cancer and this connection. I feel like eventually you're going to start to see things more clearly. I also feel like um, the possibility of you guys to be intimate is definitely there because we do have a devil and I feel like you are very um, you are very very attracted to this person we have three of cups judgment and then we have the page of pentacles so your person they're wanting to let go of this third party if there was okay so that could be a friend that could be family that could be another lover whatever it is whatever your story is they're wanting to let go of that and they want to come in for a second chance because we do have the judgment here and they feel like you're worth it. They feel like you are the prize. And they're feeling like you are worth your commitment here, okay? With the Page of Pentacles. So I feel like they are going to communicate that to you. They feel like this is worth it. They feel like it's worth fighting for. They feel like it's worth waiting for. And they have learned from their past mistake. And they want to come in and try to charm you. And also come in with an apology. I feel like they are being genuine. And I feel like they do want something long term here. So I feel like you guys are starting to, will eventually um, be on the same page. Okay. So what actions will Cancer most likely take towards this person? What actions 
will cancer most likely take towards this person. The moon. Eight of cups. And then we have the chariot reversed. So I feel like, um... I feel like... You're, you're very you're gonna be very scared moving forward here okay um, and you're probably not even gonna express that to them because the moon is all about secrets so you're gonna be hiding some type of secret and it could be your fear about this um, tell me about the eight of cups tell me about the eight of cups ten of wands yeah I feel like you're walking away from a cycle and pattern in this situation where it was just too um, too much of a burden for you too heavy of a load for you to carry um, you were putting in a lot of work and I feel like you're walking away from that mindset or from that action okay so you're not you're no longer going to be put breaking your back to basically make somebody else happy here tell me about the chariot the high priestess so I feel like yeah I feel like your intuition is telling you to kind of I feel like your intuition is telling you to leave this situation okay um, and I feel like you will okay for some of you you're gonna end up leaving this and you're going to be the one that's in charge moving forward here. And for others of you, you're just getting out of this situation altogether because you feel like it's toxic. Okay, everybody's story is different here. But I feel like your intuition is going to be guiding you in the future here. So you're going to get out of this Eight of Swords energy where you don't really know what to do, where you're feeling stuck, your intuition isn't really guiding you. You're trying to find answers here. And I feel like you're going to get your answer and you're going to make a move, okay? Um, either towards this person or away from this person. So what actions will this person most likely take towards cancer? What actions will this person most likely take towards cancer in this connection? We have the Ace of Pentacles, so they're coming in with an offer, with commitment. Ace of Wands, again, a new beginning here. And the Sun, okay. So, I feel like your person, they want to give you something that's worth it. They want to give you something stable. Um, they want commitment, and they want passion, and they want happiness and abundance with you. And I feel like if there was a third-party situation, they are releasing that because this is what they want with you. They want a new beginning here, and they want to restart. And I feel like you're being genu they're being genuine with you, but you, you are not trusting this person. Like, you are having a really hard time trying to trust this person. And the situation is kind of calling you to have faith. Because, look, this is how they're showing up. This is how they're show This is their actions, okay? Actions speak louder than words. And I feel like their actions are going to show, basically, um, exactly what you've been wanting here. Commitment. A true commitment and passion and happiness so I feel like they want to make you happy moving forward and for some of you you just don't trust this offer that they're giving you and you're gonna end up moving away um, but I feel like if you end up having faith when it comes to this person um, there's gonna be a change here where you're gonna walk away from a pattern that you could have had with them or a pattern where you found yourself putting in most of the effort and basically getting nothing in return here. So your person's actions are definitely going to speak for themselves here. If you decide to give this person another chance, their actions will speak for themselves. And if it's not, then, you know, get on your chariot and drive away. So I'm going to get some clarity that this is somebody's reading. Okay. 
Okay. Any clarifiers that this is somebody's reading? Any clarifiers that this is somebody's reading? Dating queen, so this could be somebody who you dated. Um, somebody who could have given you flowers or a gift even, children. Um, somebody could have children, or you could have had talk about children. Young female, somebody who is 25 and under. Money. So I feel like there's something here that has to do with money. Somebody could have given somebody else money. Okay. I'm For some reason, I'm getting like sugar daddy vibes, sugar baby vibes with the young female and the money and dating queen. I don't know for whatever reason I'm kind of getting that. But yeah, if you like this reading, please comment, like, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos. And let me know if it resonated. And... I hope that you found guidance and clarity in your situation. Thank you for watching. Bye.